Hey guys, so this is my bike. I thought we'd finally do a bike check. It, uh, we've been meaning to do this for a long time, uh, but at least now, later in the season, it'll at least show all the things that I've learned from over the season, all the changes I've made. And I mean, it's definitely a bit scuffed up, but adds to the character. So probably make it a little bit more interesting. Uh, so yeah, without further ado, this is my 2023 Yeti Fox Devo Team Race Bike. All right, so first things first, starting off with the frame. This is a 2023 Yeti Cycles SB160. Uh, turf carbon in a size large. Uh, definitely the coolest thing about this frame has to be the Switch Infinity Link down there. Obviously proprietary to Yeti, so it's nothing like you can ever experience anywhere else and it is, it's incredible. Um, why I run a size large, I'm on the end of the spectrum on the size chart between a size large and an XL. With modern enduro tracks nowadays being super tight, definitely opting for a smaller frame is, uh, is my go-to. Otherwise, I just struggle too much to get around the tight corners. So next up would have to be the Fox suspension. Uh, on this bike, we have a 170 millimeter uh, Fox 38 in orange, obviously. It's in orange, makes you go at least 10% faster, surely. In the back, we have a Fox Float X2 factory again. Uh, regarding all my clickers, that's just way too much information. So if you really want to know, shoot me a DM. Uh, and to round off Fox, we have a 200 millimeter transfer dropper post. So next up would have to be the Shimano componentry. So with this, we've got a bit of a bit of a blend between uh, XT and XDR, just kind of throughout the season, just, uh, you know, bending stuff, wearing stuff out, usual wear, nothing nothing major has happened at all. Uh, Shimano Saint pedals, obviously opting for the biggest platform. On these, I actually have the pin fully out and the cleats as tight as you can go. I've wound them all the way in because there is nothing squirrelier than clipping out when you don't want to. Another interesting bit about the setup is I run a short cage derailleur. Once you go short cage, I honestly think you can't go back. I love it so much. Just a lot less, more stressed about hitting it on rocks. And yeah, obviously enduro, half the game is getting through the day. Wheels on this bike are DT Swiss uh, EX 1700s. Uh, they're definitely the go-to enduro wheel. From DT Swiss with a 350 hub, you can't go wrong, bulletproof. As you can see, I've still got, where are we? The stickers from the last race here. I've been running these rims for months now. They're still on there, still going strong. So yeah, loving those. Tires on this bike are uh, obviously Maxxis, the go-to. We have downhill casing, front and back, Asagai and DHR2 on the back. We do have a cush core in there. I just have a cush core in the rear. You know, enduro, you've got to uh, make your bike get through the day. So any little thing you can do, Massive uh, advantage and the benefits that Kushko gives to riding is also a massive up. So, and of course, little Kushko Yeti valves. All right, cockpit on this bike, we have a one up bar, 30 mil rise and 35 mil diameter stem. I tried a 50 mil, I've swapped for ages, but I've always ran short stems, so I think it's just what I was used to. So I ended up sticking with that for the season. So this is the one-up pump. Within the one-up pump, we have the pump, obviously. Uh, as well, it's got a CO2 head, and in here, we have a CO2. So if I do get a flat, I'll quickly take the CO2 head off, put it on the CO2, pump that thing up, and then finish it off with the pump. And that all lives neatly in there. It's just a little pump, not the big one they have, because uh, I've got the tool in the stem, so. Um, and so it turns out I don't actually have a CO2 in here, which is probably a good find because I thought I did, but I, clearly I didn't replace it after I got the flat in Valdef uh no, Leo Gang. So that's good to know. I'm almost glad we filmed this. Otherwise, I would have had no idea. <laughs> we have just a Tom Lock sticker. That is probably one of the most important things over the bike because when we're at these races and there is 10, 15 Yetis lined up all next to each other, it's very hard to actually know which one's yours because they're all team bikes and they're all matching. So having those top tube stickers are actually very valuable. Shout out, Mark the Mechanic, tuned by, yeah, Mad Dog swinging the wrench at the races. Massive shout out to him. If there's any more questions you got about this, feel free to send me a message, but I feel like we've covered as much as we can without going into mega, mega detail, but still showing all the interesting little things. So yeah, that's my bike check. Thanks for listening along and uh, yeah.